Welcome back to the Hillsborough Leisure Centre in Sheffield. We're here for live coverage of the European Bantamweight Championship, the eight stone, six pounds division. This is the challenger, Antonio Picardi of Italy. First out, of course, the challengers always come out first. Picardi, 31 years of age, 11 years older than the champion. He's had 34 fights, 124, five of them inside the distance, and he's lost 10. He's from the same camp as Vincenzo Belcastro, who, of course, lost the European title to Hamed. So here comes Bacardi. But is he going to be good enough tonight? That's the question. Sporting crowd here, but they're waiting for their local hero. Prince Nassim Hamed, the 20-year-old from Sheffield, born of Yemeni parents. He's just spent the last few moments before he came in the ring playing pool. He had the table specially put into his dressing room area. Well, we've been looking for exciting newcomers in British boxing, and I am sure that Bacardi will find out in a few moments that this is going to be the most exciting boxer in recent years. Bel Castro would have told him, that's uh, Bacardi, of course, what Hamed is all about. He's quick, he's elusive in defense. So we're waiting for Naz. This is his own music that he comes into. Nazim sees himself as the new star to follow Chris Eubank, only he says, I'm much better. He's certainly going to be the latest of British boxing show, but this is the new trend. Now, it's not just an entrance in the old dressing gown, it's the full business. And Ahmed coming in for his 13th fight. He's had 12, 12 straight wins, 10 of them inside the distance. And this lad says he's going to win four world titles. The plan at the moment is that Frank Warren wants him to fight really regularly, and he'll be stepping up, up in class all the while. Now, you may love him or you'll hate him, but he provokes a reaction, and he believes all this. He really does think he's the bee's knees. If he was chocolate, he'd eat himself. He really is going steady with himself. But he's a very exciting back boxer. That's Brendan Ingle, his manager, bringing him in. He's had him since he was very young. He's been boxing for a long, long time now, even if his professional career is very short. Well, I'm sure he'll do somersaults in a moment. He uh, works on these routines in the gym. He's very difficult to hit, he's very elusive, he'll stick his chin out, but I doubt Bacardi will get too near it. He packs a very good punch himself, and he's very accurate. Frank Warren believes, as a promoter would say, of course, that he's the most exciting prospect for years. I happen to think he is as well. Well, let me tell you that our commentary team tonight is Reg Guttridge, Jim Watts away, so we're delighted to have Nicky Piper as Reg Guttridge's partner, and they'll be picking it up for this European Bantamweight Championship after the official announcements have been made by our Master of Ceremonies here at Sheffield, Mike Goodall. Ladies and gentlemen, the officials for this contest appointed by the EBU are the supervisor, Hans Nidham of Holland, the steward in charge, Mr. Dennis Lockton, the judges at ringside, Jose Villas Muller from Spain, Werner Avin from Switzerland and the referee in charge of the contest who also scores the contest, Mr. Nud Jensen of Denmark, the timekeeper, Mr. Frank Capewell, and your matchmaker, Mr. Ernie Fossey. Ladies and gentlemen, the big fight live on ITV, sponsored by Empress, the number one in car sales, and promoted by Frank Warren and Sports Network, who proudly present a contest of 12 three-minute rounds for the Bantamweight Championship of Europe. Between introducing in the red corner from Naples in Italy, a professional record from 34 contests of 24 wins, 10 losses, 5 wins coming by way of KO, 
the Italian bantamweight champion and number one contender for the title, the challenger, Antonio Piccardi. And in the blue corner, wearing the leopard skin trunks, from his 12 wins, he has 10 wins by KO. From the Yenham and from Sheffield, the bantamweight champion of Europe making the first defense of his title, the Prince Nazim Ahmed. Today's weigh-in, uh, Picardo scaled at eight stone, five pounds, Ahmed eight stone, five and a half pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the bantamweight championship of Europe. Well, there it is, all the trimmings are over there. Good Jensen from Denmark, the referee, quite experienced. It's quite a performance, isn't it, by Ahmed? He normally has Prince on the front and to be king on the back of his trunks. But uh, I like the way Picardi there just, uh, well, he was part of the audience, he was enjoying that. Very calm and collected at the way in the Italian, and uh, said, when I asked him if he spoke any English, he said, no, not at all, which sounded pretty good English to me. And uh, I think he thinks he's in with a chance, I think, uh, as a challenger. But he has lost to Belcastro, who was easily defeated by uh, Ahmed, almost a shutout for the European Championship. He has one win over Belcastro, too. But well, there you are. All those statistics go, well, they don't, they don't mean too much when that first bell goes. It's a hard little nut, though, for Cardi. I'm not sure he's that hard a puncher, according to the record. And he is 31. So there he was. He was chocky to eat himself, this fellow, wouldn't he? But he'll tell you what, it looks like he can fight a bit. Nicky, yeah, what do you I, think I, before I think that first punch is thrown? Well, I think he's a great prospect. Um, I like him. I like his style. I believe he's going to be a certain world champion. Uh, and I'm looking forward to the sound of this fight. It's going to be explosive. I've got a feeling Hamid might try and take him out. I, I, he more or less admits that he overdid the, uh, the showmanship, as it were, in that last round against Bel Castro last time up. But uh, he said, you know, I was so surprised and so pleased that I'd gone 12 rounds. I wanted to prove for everybody that I could stay. I don't know what the delay is here. I think they're trying to get the judges in position. a bit confusing there. I think the language, the translation problem here. He keeps saying, I'm ready, Hunter uh, Johnson. He didn't have the gun shield in there. Oh, dear. I think he'll need that. There, your team is Rocco Agostini. I mean, he's been around and had all the best fighters in Italy. Somebody was hiding the gun shield by the look of it. They do have two of them. And there it is. The only thing that a boxer can wear a protective above the waist. So now he's moving the photographers to make sure the judge can see. And sometimes when the scoring comes up, we often wonder if they really did see. But we'll find out. There That's it goes. Right. Now, he didn't vault the rope, by the way. So you missed nothing there with uh, Ahmed. He suddenly changed the routine. Obviously, obviously Picardi's eyes are the big weakness here. Interesting to see how they hold up. Yeah, he's got a bit of scarred tissue around those. He's been They've been stopped uh, with uh, cuts quite a bit. Never been counted out, Nicky. I'll point that out to you. Yeah. But he, he's a good puncher, Hammett. For an eight stone uh, six fighter, a banter mate. He's a good he jab fighter. He's got strong legs to work on. Oh, dear. There he is. He had, he had this, this fellow's stable mate down in the first round, but it still went 12. But now, can he finish this one? And that was the first time Bel Castro had been on the floor. Well, it, it, it's a half a slip too, really, on yeah. this canvas here, oh, yeah. which is a bit shiny there. I think it was also the effect of the punch, there, don't you? you did, yeah, it did. Yeah, but it's over a left hook or something. Yeah. Good reach too, Hamid, isn't he? You know, you look, the opponent must think he's well away, and suddenly the arms spring out there. He's got good reach. Yeah, any other boxer just wouldn't catch an opponent with the type of lunges he does, but uh, Naz always seems to do it. Very unorthodox, and that uh, probably contributes to his, his, his success. Works with heavy, much heavier fighters in the gymnasium. At least he's going for it in the opening round here, Hamid. He's, he's just larking around. 
Bacardi was expecting that too. He's uh, defending well. It's been a bit too inactive for my life in the Italian. Though. It's almost a year since he fought. It's amazing that he is the official number one challenger for the European Championship. Referee does score in this should it go 12 rounds with the two, two judges instead of three. And should one boxer go down three times, it's not in effect because it's not a world championship and the European Union don't recognise that rule. I think it's a good idea that, that the, uh, the referee does judge the bridge. I mean, he's the man with the, the best view. Yeah, well, he, the argument is that they can concentrate on handling the contest without worrying about the scoring. It's, uh, well, some for, some against. Oh, dear, man. There was a delayed action there, Nick. He did, yeah, he shot it. Clipped him with a good left, left hook like that. Yeah. And the, the knee started to disobey a little bit. Yeah, he hit him out of a self force stance, too. Now he came back to orthodox. Yeah, he can switch like. Yeah. Almost as if he wanted to escort him back in the corner there, didn't he? There's a wise old owl there in the, in Brendan Ingle and his son John, and that uh, gentleman in the in the dark suit there is actually an inspector. Let's have a look at this. See whether whether there was a slip or an actual lockdown. No, he caught him with a shot, but he was he was yeah. well off. Yeah, the, the referee ruled it a slip, actually, didn't he? Because he didn't give us an eight-count. Yeah, eight count. it was um, a punch turned into a push, wasn't it? Yeah, but he didn't give yeah. a knockdown, the referee. No, so. no. But looking at it from that angle, I think it is actually a punch. Yeah, I, I, I would have thought so. Yeah. Well, he's, he's a sort of Mickey Duff of... Uh, Italian boxing rock guy, Agostino, been around with the best. So I think he might need a few well-chosen words to try and get his man to win this. Second round, then. Just a reminder, European 12 rounds, bantamweight championship. And a first defence with uh, Nassim Hamad. A row of his relations here and a lot of support. When he goes back to the Yemen, I'm told that thousands turn out almost overnight to see him train. Well, to watch him sweat, really. He's become a hero there. And uh, he's got an accent more like Freddie Truman. He's showing a lot of power. He uh, should be using that jab a little more now. And uh, leading off the jab. the way he varies the angles he comes in from every angle oh he's difficult to, to, you know, to try and block his punches Hamid. very difficult i'm more impressed with him in this you know one and a half rounds than i was in 12 last time he's really got down to business he's got to back up his boast of course but he, he rightly says he comes out of winning he has done so far 12 fights 10 of them stopped This is impressive stuff. Now that, that was definitely a throw there. Yeah. More like a judo uh, judo. Yeah, well, we don't want we don't want to two falls and a submission in a European no. boxing no. match, Nicky. But it's a far more business-like performance than the last one, I think. Well, he's showing tremendous power for a bang. Yeah, he is. He can bang. And again, notice that reach. You see that? He can use the short punches as well but he hurts with the long ones. Mm. No, you see, that's allowed. He can actually give a standing count as they do in amateur boxing. The rules of European do vary quite a bit, actually. You stop counting on seven, though, so what if it was a standing count on nine? Well, yeah, that, I, I can't argue with that one. There you go, you see, they're confusing us again here. Well, he's just dominating all the time, isn't he? I mean, oh, he actually got caught with a punch and then did a little bit of a, well, almost an alley takeoff, but he must have compared himself with him. By shaking his knees. To throw power punches 
something like this for 12 rounds is uh, it's a very demanding uh, thing to do. I, I'm not sure whether you can keep this pace up for 12 rounds until he gets rid of uh, Picardi. Yeah, he, know, he, know, he knows how to walk away. According to the predictions by Hamid in the local Sheffield papers, he said he's dominating, he could do it in three rounds. Well, we'll find out if he is an alley or not. But that, when Puckerty managed to land a bit of a swing, finally caught him with a punch. He, he went after him then, the Italian. He started going forward. He's, he's got plenty of guts. Have a look at the unofficial scorecard, the ITV group here. That's about right, isn't it? 10-8 the second round. Yes, I would go along with that. I don't think the points are going to matter, to be honest with you, Nicky. I think this is just, you know, it looks like it could, could be stopped. And maybe not by the, the cut, which I'm hopefully won't happen for Bacardi. But as, as, the, as the contest wears on, you never know. But I like the way he's, he's trying to close in on Hamid. He's, 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 up, he's obviously learned from the the video he said he'd watch it oh dear the, left, the southpaw left hand straight as an arrow didn't travel very far but he got the message didn't he but he got up again remember he hasn't been counted out but he has been stopped a few times he tipped this round and it looked as though he's going to do it too because it, oh it's, it's given him he shouldn't permit himself a somersault then but yes he can because when he got up there Picardi well he knew it was all over Brave little guy, but just taken out by some very accurate and hard punching for a bad boy. No question. Maybe some uh, people have gone over the top with praise for him, but particularly himself. But uh, for this contest, well, it was as near perfect as you, as you expect him to be. I've never seen uh, any boxer, I think, that can punch so hard on both stances, so powerful and orthodox with such a variety of punches. Referee called it off anyway. When he went down, his body just collapsed underneath him there. Yeah. 13 wins on the turn now. And that wasn't an easy opponent. Not, no. uh, not an no. opponent to take out. Let's have a look at the first knockdown, Nicky. See that? Marvelous that's a beautiful punch, punch yeah, wasn't textbook it? Punch. <laughs> you, yeah. It's not a beautiful punch for the fellow that's receiving it, by the way, but bingo. <laughs> have another look. At least Hamid went to the, the corner of the yeah. page respects after that, which was nice after that taunting of the last run. So fair dues, he's learned. Yeah, he disguises his punches and so again, well. Yeah. Right through the middle there. With either hand, he takes a man out. That's right. Out of either stance as See, well. He just couldn't cope with that. He's got such great balance. His feet, uh, yeah, as, as an old Brendan Ingle boys, their footwork is fantastic. Yeah, and he's strong on his feet, though. He, yeah. gets, he gets the strength of punch from the feet as well, actually. He yeah. travels right up, doesn't he? He anchors himself. Oh, yeah. He's got uh, very powerful legs. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 26 seconds of the third round, the referee has stopped the contest. Picardi in no position to defend himself. The winner, and still undefeated, by the way, champion of Europe, Prince. So a little word in the ear from promoter Frank Warren who's contracted him for a series of fights. And I it didn't last long, but I think the, the Empress Car sponsors got I think they've got their money's worth anyway. So I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't buy himself a roll or two in the way it's going. I wouldn't be surprised if the Yemen get on board in one. Well, let's, let's, let's see if Gary Newborn can manage to get a word in here, Nicky. Anyway, yep. there he is, getting out ready to be interviewed. <laughs> well, he's cracked a joke or two, so over to Gary. Brendan is here now, but it's you, Naz, that we really want to talk to because that was an outstanding performance tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, I thought he was a good fighter, but uh, I produced the goods I box uh, quite up to my standards, I thought. And uh, I thought I'd done the business in style. You got on with it straight away instead of messing about? Yep. No, uh, no funny stuff, no showboating, as they say. I just want to dance to business tonight, predict the round in third, 
and boom, took him out. How, how did you find him as an opponent, really? I mean, he, he never... He, he hit you. I think it was the second round. He actually caught you. He was uh, a pretty strong fighter. I could see the way he was trying to uh, cover up and counter with the shots, but uh, I didn't really give him a chance. But uh, I've done the business, I've done it in style, that's what I'm proud of. Well, let's have a look at the finish, and uh, you can enjoy this now, because... It was a straight left, straight through the middle, boom, see it there? Oh, yeah. Uh, the, I knew from then onwards, a couple of shots more, the title's still mine, I'm never letting it go, and world title's coming. Baby, good shots. He's gone, I can see it in his eyes. I can just, a uh, couple of following. There's the right hand, left up. He didn't want to know after that, because uh, I think that was the end, as you've seen it for yourself. The thing is, you're, you're only 20, and this is a good experience for you, because you're proving to yourself that you can actually punch. Instead of messing around, you're getting on with it. Instead of messing around, as you know, but uh, it could uh, do a fighter's head in when you mess about sometimes. But tonight, I want to get straight down to business, show the crowd my punching power, show the style in there. It worked out. You said to me before, before the fight that if I said to you you were good tonight, you wouldn't be at all surprised. It was something you would know already, tell, tell you something else. Well, if you would have complimented me, I'd have just said, uh, you say you're a great fighter or anything like that to me, Gary, I'd have just said, tell me something I don't know. Well, maybe that's not being arrogant. I'm just a born a winner, born to be king. You know that, don't you, Frank? So, what, what, Brendan Frank, what, what, what we got next here, Frank Warren? It's going to fight in October. Um, we'll be making an announcement in the next week or so. I'm off to the States tomorrow, and we're hopefully going to come up with a big name fight. We're not ducking anybody. they are fighting anyone. Wayne McCulloch, Johnny Armour offered Mickey Duff a lot of money in your presence tonight, and none of them want to fight him. We're not ducking anyone. Okay, um, the Flintstone. we've got the Flintstones here, by the way, tonight. Yeah. Huh? This, is this your dad here? Oh, this is his dad. Yeah. My dad here. I'll meet your dad. Bring, let, let's meet your dad. Yes. Tell us about your dad. Well, my dad's very proud of me at the moment. Uh, he's got the belt in his hand, and he's keeping it. And Brendan's here, I'm my manager, and he knows I'm the best. Frank Warren, my promoter, is taking me all the way. ITV, respect. Gary Mr. Hammett, has he always been like this? To be honest, yes. <laughs> I'm glad. I am proud for my son. Yep. And he's, he's doing very, very proud. Well, you're entitled to be. He's, he's on his ready, way. Hopefully, he's becoming a world champion. He's long for this fight. He's yes. done a great job. Listen, we'll carry on talking, but we've actually got to take a short break now. And then we'll be right back with that controversial fight from Atlantic City. Riddick Bowe, should he have been disqualified? Make up your mind right after this.